Hey guys, Headhunter Fishing. We're going inshore today. A little bit of Louis II action. We're at the boat ramp. Beautiful morning. We got a hunter. And we got trophy wife with us today, so we're gonna go inshore, see if we can find a snapper for dinner. So see what happens, guys. More to come. Alright, anchor going down. Good job, trophy wife. We're out here fishing. So, Hunter's got one croaker so far. Big one. And she's pulling on some sharks, but we haven't um, got what we wanted yet, but we're gonna give it a whirl and see what happens. Um, see if we can catch some snappers. So, hopefully we can catch on them. More to come. Get the net. I can't get the net. Hunter's got a nice get mutton. Get the net, mommy. Hunter, there's something in it. Dump it out. Mommy. Hunter's got a nice mutton. <laughs> We're working on it. I don't think he's legal, but hey, we'll take him. There we go. Another one in the box. That might be legal. We'll have to get a measure on it. Hey guys, I'm back. Trophy, it's yeah, sandwich break, but oh, well, it's got a cheese, cheese pops, but look what I caught. <laughs> that one might be legal. I gotta measure him, so hold on a minute. We'll get the stick out. Let's see if we got a keeper. Hunter's was just a quarter of an inch too short. This one looks like it might be 18. We'll see. All the way there. Pinch tail. It's over 18. That's a legal mutton. Nice job. 19 and a quarter, guys. We got one. That's nice, nice mangrove, nice mutton. We got dinner. So we're going to keep fishing for a little bit. They seem to be biting pretty good. So more to come, guys. Hunter's hooked up. What do we got, Hunter? I'm not sure. Net worthy? Maybe. Right kind. A little netter just for the hell of it. Little guy. As a little one. He's cute. Man, they're pulling these circle hooks. That's a pain. But pretty little muttons, though. Bring them here, Hunter. Love me some mutton snappers, so we'll keep walking away and see if we can get some more legal ones. Hey, guys. Um, I was sitting on the pulling platform and um, didn't get a fight in hand, but. I screwed up and did something. I haven't caught a mutton like this since the Bahamas. Nice job, That's babe. a chunky. Nice job. Circle hook right in the corner of his mouth. Out on squid. Nice six, eight pound mutton. That's a good one, boys. So, head hunter fishing, guys. We know how to get it done. Me, trophy wife, and Hunter Lee, as always. Oh, and no. Miss Willa. Yeah, Willa. Peace out. Hey. Hi. What'd you just do? I, I caught a bird fish. <laughs> Is that a jackbird fish? <laughs> it's a parrot fish. It's, it's a parrot fish. It's pretty. It's pretty. Look at the colors on that joker. Willa likes it. Matches her eyes. Look. Willa. What is that? Uh, and then we lost the squid. Get the squid, Hunter. All uh, right. We're going we're gonna to turn this one loose, guys. That's a cool catch for anybody. Hi, guys. We're still fishing, but it's gotten slow. I think we're gonna wrap it up. We didn't do too bad. We got two keeper muttons, I think, and two mangroves and a margate. So we did good. So we'll do a little running, get back to the hill, and uh, see you guys at the flay table. Maybe a little catch, clean, and cook with some mutton snapper. More to come. Tried to clean up, but. Casey's snagging her. Oh, shark fight. <laughs> oh, shit. We're getting entangled. Let me get these sharks on a hook, and then we'll we'll head home. Hi. Shark problem untangled. She hooked that one in the dorsal fin, so. Safe release. They gone. All right. Let's roll. camera and then they pulled up in the yard and need my as pops he's hanging out we're gonna fly some fish if i can get this camera right all right we did catch one margate i'll show you how to clean that it thinks it's like a sheep head they're painting the ass to clean but that's why thank god we only caught one but 
just like any other fish just go around real thick scales on these things pain in the butt to clean but they eat good just like a sheep head just like pain in the ass to clean just like a sheep head too Bones go right across the top of the ribs. Presto. That's a sandwich. Trim the pin bones up. I think my brother's come over. We're gonna stuff one of these muttons with um, crab meat for dinner. So, fingers crossed. That's pretty much how you do it. Rinse, repeat, knock off the other sides. We'll see you in the kitchen. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see me or not, but we did get a couple of decent little mangroves too, a little one pounder, maybe a pound and a half. Show you how to clean one of them real quick, but these things, because they're so small, you can almost just peel them like a damn bluegill. Just flay them right down. Tail comes off, and I'm using my Man of War knife. Met the guy at a boaters exchange event and he seemed like a pretty cool guy and the knife really has got a good flex to it and uh, I like the handle. It's rubber and you can hold on to it. I think just peel those off. Skin over. Getting off. Repeat on the other side. Brother Matt coming to say hi. You kept a Margate? Yeah, I was only caught one. Might as well. We caught two. We actually caught a real big one in the net that was floating, but I don't know how long he was floating, so mm. he didn't. He looked like he might have been there since yesterday, so I put him back. So, How many muttons did you get? Um, probably eight or ten, but only two keepers. That one, I have one other one that's real close to being a keeper, but just a hair short. And they're pretty close on them sticks, too. If um, it had still been 16, we'd have kept 20. Yeah. We had, we had two or three others that were keepers, so. All right, guys. Mangrove snapper. Mutton's up next. Uh, I'll let Brother Matt film me for a big one. I'll go ahead and play it, but chunky little mutton for 20 feet of water. He didn't weigh him, but he's probably seven or eight pounds. But yeah, these big old jokers, you just, just outline them. A couple more weeks, we got red snapper season. You can, I'll make a couple videos doing that just because it's something to build content with but I, you can give me one of these mutton snappers any day over a stupid red snapper they don't eat worth a damn i don't know why everybody gets so excited about them just maybe because they only give us two days a year to catch them you gonna plan on going that or i'll be in west virginia oh damn for the 14th 15th yep flying up yeah she's over here jenny okay. With Todd's all my side by side up there, uh, leaving from the work weekend, going up there. Oh, there you go. And we're flying up for two hundred and fifty dollars round trip for both of us. Nice. <laughs> Hoping ain't value jet. No, it's Allegiant. Almost as bad. <laughs> there we go. All right. Come on around on this Joker. Looks like this. Must be starting to pre-spawn, maybe. What's the full moon, Matt? Uh, right around July 4th. Gotta be coming up then. That's why they're stacking up in there. Whoa, big black dog. Oh, hey, Clifford. 
Yeah, the mangrove should come in on the next full moon. I'll just go across top of the ribs on this joker. Button snapper. Oh, went blank. Well, that's all right. Still beeping red though. No, uh, it's still recording. What did you have? Uh, two muttons and two mangroves. And a. Hi, Aunt Jenny. What's that thing? Um, a margate. Did you go video, Remy? Pull the skin. Knocked a little bit of rib cage out there that I didn't get. Pin bones. <laughs> Remy. My niece dog, Remy. Button snapper. She's ready for the whatever we're gonna do to it. So, all right, guys. Now we're going to the kitchen. Florida. I think I'm going all right. Matt, what are we using here? Uh, claw meat, blue crab, claw meat, and Publix, and shrimp. We still have to peel. Pan cow breadcrumbs, mayonnaise, old bay, and scallions. I can feel the shrimp. Alright, all right. there's Aunt Jenny on the scallions. Diced them up, she just diced all the shrimp up too. So we got crab, we got diced shrimp. Egg, mayonnaise, whole bag, and pink cow. Team effort. Remember the egg. There, I just helped. How much is pink cow? Um. At least that is probably part of the other. Yeah, get your old bay. Uh, That's probably enough. Get your old bay first. And a big dollop of mayonnaise. Probably a couple of dollars of mayonnaise. Not enough? It'd be plenty. <laughs> plenty. We're good. If you get your spin, you got the look. <laughs> we're going to try to get a little bit of that out. I've never seen you that surprised before, little kid. <laughs> That's all right. All right, now we'll go back. We'll let her okay. eat. Dog. A little lime juice in there to make it a little bit better. Crab stuffing. Crab and shrimp stuffing. Mm -hmm. Stuffing mutton snappers. Alright. I gotta do a good pasty consistency, Hunter. It's gonna be really like glue. Mm. Yummy. Uh, already looking good with my stuff some fish. We got Aunt Jenny's Brussels sprouts, Parmesan cheese, and pepper. We got filleted mutton snapper and a whole mutton snapper. That uh, it's gonna get some stuff for crab meat, so crab and shrimp stuffing. Clever, what are you doing? You a big ass dog? Hi. Hunter's making shrimp and crab cakes to go on the pan. But I got a little. Olive oil, garlic butter. We're gonna go ahead and while she's doing that, I'll pour this on top. Kill the bottle. Rub that in there, pretty good. And like Uncle Matt said, we're gonna go salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna cheat just for a little bit of color and add it seasoning. Little Creole magic. Dom DeLuise. How you gonna do your uh, slices? We got them. 
put it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. It's just gonna be tasty. All right, Paul Paul Perdome, I think. So, all right, guys, she's going in the oven. Three fifty for thirty minutes. Oh. All right, and Jenny just opened up the oh, yeah. blackened mutton, and here's the mm. taste test. It's gonna happen. Don't forget there's skin on there. I know. So going in. Crab cakes are jam up. Let me get those. All right, guys. Oh man, it's on time. Is it good? All right, guys. Woo I hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe. Head under fishing. I'm out. More to come.